Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiser Redux, in which we're playing as, of course, the CSA. Uh, we got a couple comments to go through from the last video, but right now we've made an encirclement around here in Illinois, Indiana. It's about C7, nine divisions in total, not bad, and here are the casualties thus far. About a quarter million for us, which is not very good, but we got more than enough manpower, even though we look like we're demobilizing. As well as, well, we've killed off quite a few guys here, so, so far, not that bad, pretty... I don't know, relatively easy. Like, sure, there's some areas here where we might get hit really hard. That might not be very good for us, but overall, not too bad. Ah, look at this. Very nice, very nice. We got pushed out of there, but whatever it is, 1938, my friends. Hope you're doing well, well, well. And like I said, we got a couple of comments to go through. Uh, okay, so there's quite a few comments saying that I should not go with Al Capone or Totalist in this campaign. Uh, ooh, support for Zinclus. Very nice. We got 50 more political power. Not bad. However, for this campaign, I do want to go Zinclus, but if... There's a lot of support for me to go to, like, Radical Socialist, um, Syndicalist, and just do something other than Al Capone. Like, I want to play, like, this campaign several different times, you know, play the CSA several different times, and actually, you know, get other different leaders into the CSA. I think that'd be fun, just like with the New England and federal government and the CAR and Texas and the American Union State and PSA and Western Command Center. So I'll get to them eventually. There's no promise when I'll get to them, but just I would like to get to those different campaigns eventually. And honestly, like... Al Capone was recommended by my Discord server, who, which had a lot of votes for the most recent poll we had, so I figured they wanted it, so why not? We'll try this out, and then maybe later on, we'll play as Browder or Foster or have a coup by Butler, so we'll see. We should definitely see. I asked you guys yesterday what our intelligence agency name should be. Um, I haven't changed it yet, because I want to wait until we get Al Capone into office, and then I'll write down and let you guys all know what we have chosen for the name for the intelligence agency. But yeah, but there's, seriously, like, overall, this is not that bad. This is... This is almost a little bit too, too easy. Not quite, I would say, too easy yet, but not too bad. So, Totalist in the Bartio Commune. Very good. Other comments include, let's see, don't go Totalist, don't go with Al Capone. Enable sound effects, but they are technically already are enabled, so... Um, but that kind of brings up the whole audio issue, like... If audio, if the audio isn't like, if you can't hear the audio or there's audio issues, please let me know always in the comments below. Just because I'm not always aware if you guys can hear all the audio going on. So, I'll try to make sure that, that you guys can hear the audio from, uh, oh, we need more guns. Um, like the super sound effects, but I'm not really sure how to enable that just by itself. Because if you look at the audio settings, that's what I currently my audio set to. So, it is what it is. Effect volume, you know, ambient. So, just let you guys, keep you guys aware of what. I'm doing what I do, most normally, so. Still don't want to lose Harrisburg. Please don't lose Harrisburg. For the love of God, do not lose Harrisburg. We need more fuel. My goodness. And anything else? Like, do we have push against the Nationalists, against the car? So that's why we're doing fairly well against them. Okay, they're attacking. We'll help out, too. Why not? Very, very good. Nice. Good job, guys. And do we have any upgrades for any of our uh, division leaders? Uh, I'm just really just waiting for Canada to get involved. Like, that's the biggest thing. I'm pretty sure they, they will get involved, so. Alva Bessie, who do we want? Y'all need a defender? Oh, sure, since we have it, we might as well, right? Anything here? Nope. Cool. Oh, we have another upgrade. Alva. Oh, you're defense. You're very defensive. Max entrenchment might not be bad. I want to go get more attack, though. But, you know what? We're going to maximize your defense. Maximize it. Uh, tanks. There's sometimes you want to attack, and there's other times where you don't want to attack. So, this is definitely not one of those times. So, yeah. And if you could push over to here, that'd be great. But we'll see what happens, obviously. You guys head in there and send your two guys that way, too. There you go. Not bad. Canadian intervention looming. Too frightened of the prospect of a syndicalist America sitting on the doorsteps of Canadians to the north, along with the British masters, are currently preparing for an intervention. We cannot prevent it from happening, but some believe it might be possible to delay it. If we were to quietly contact and fund Canadian labor movements, getting them to rise up in strikes that have obvious syndicalist connections, the Canadians might be too paranoid to take action until the strikes are shut down. It would, at most, buy us a few months if we keep it up. Otherwise, we should prepare to face an invasion from the north soon. NDWL on life support. The clan has suffered massive losses in recent days and is no longer capable of efficiently coordinating with other leagues and clans across our territory. With our support, with their support, and seemingly on their way out, our military has more supplies and civilians are, are fair, far more certain of our victory over them than they once were. Good. We need more divisions. Um, I'm worried about this. I mean, it is a waterway around here, and we did make sure that these guys, even though they're kind of inexperienced, they are hopefully well entrenched, so. Please stop attacking here, guys. Please stop attacking and wasting lives. I'll hop out over there. The feds. Uh, if I have to, I will arrest these guys up north if we really, really need to. So, it is what it is. They should do relatively well over there. 
I mean, if you're going to win, actually, like, that's not bad, actually. So up here, I'm not too worried. They'll take this tile, but, you know, they're going to attack us pretty harshly up here as well. Over here, obviously, and over here as well, which I've actually sent over oh, the, uh, Thomas Page here to help defend the line a little bit more. So we'll see. Delay Canadian intervention. Uh, let's see. We can delay them. Cool. Nice. Crippling strikes, stability, construction speed, factory output. Might as well. We've got the PP for it, right? Hopefully that gives us enough time to let's get one or two more divisions out, hopefully. Come here to Page. Thomas Page. That'll be good. All right. And you guys are doing pretty darn well. See if you can come on, truck on over. Come on. Don't let them in. We want to circle these guys and then prepare for the Canadian intervention. And stuff around here, too. So we definitely need more soldiers. Like, seriously. Is it holding out? Please stop attacking us. Oh, well, you know what? That's okay. That is A-OK -okay with us. I might actually deploy some of these guys in here. Send some of these divisions over to Thomas Page already, so. Get up there. Oh, no. Oh, oh baby. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, you guys all go there. Except the infantry, of course. You and you head on over. Actually, go up this way. Go this way. Let's circle them around. There you go. Help them out. And we've got a lot of allies, or, you know, volunteers, which is very, very nice. Delay Canadian intervention. Black League wounded. The Black Legion's influence has fallen. Widespread and widely despised groups are seeing more citizens being willing to support or report their whereabouts of members. They're no longer able to conduct terror activities as widely as they should. Local manpower goes up. Very nice. Kick them out, and we'll take Springfield, Illinois. Anything else here? No, that's okay with us. Cool. Send half you guys over to Oliver North already. Because he's going to need more soldiers. Because we already maxed out 24 divisions here. So, these guys are pretty well dug in, hopefully. But there's a lot of divisions up there. So, we're not exactly ready for them yet. Hopefully, by the end of this episode, we'll have at least one or two other nations. Nations. American factions capitulated. And we just finished up counter-reactionary armaments. Which is very, very nice. Anything else around here? Nope. The Second Continental Navy. Now we're pretty good. Revolution in combined arms. We've made a breakthrough in our military doctrine. Our theorists believe that if we can combine tanks, artillery, airplanes, and infantry in coordinated attack plans, we can eviscerate the enemy. Our bombers will soften them, our tanks and artillery will flatten them, and our infantry will do the rest. Alone, these forces are ineffective, but together we can turn our army into a truly explosive fighting force. More artillery attack. Very nice. Production cost goes down, and get all the stuff. Nice. It's not a lot of stuff, but we'll take it. A 200% bonus to a land auction. Very nice. Give yeah, we got some time. Don't worry about attacking, guys. Don't worry about it. Other tanks struggle, even though they're actually looking like they're doing actually fairly well. So, this is five divisions, plus two is usually seven, right? I think. Help out the attack. You guys help out here, too. You guys help out here. We don't want to suffer too many losses, do we? No, we don't. Springfield will be ours, and hopefully get a few more divisions that way. All right, not bad. They're trying to escape, eh, but we're not going to let them. Ah, Southern Illinois. We love Southern Illinois. Cool. So you guys looking not too bad. Uh, still getting attacked here quite a bit. They really want Pennsylvania. Not good. Uh, I don't mind sending you over here, maybe. I don't know where you're going to end up, but that's fine. Actually, we don't really need this extra line under this guy, so just go right there. There you go. And you'll flood out. You'll spread out wherever you really need to go, so that'll be good. Um, I really don't like what the feds are doing here. I'm going to keep you guys over here just in case for now. They took back Harrisburg. What the heck? Seriously, how many feds have we killed? We're going to kill at least 2 million feds before we're done here. That's so dumb. Really don't have a lot of men to spare right now. But my god, you find a fed, you get rid of them. Yeah, no, you're going to die here, you son of a gun. Anywhere else? There's, there's, they're just attacking like crazies. Holy crap! Nice. Got more divisions. There's only three more. Let's send them to Thomas Page. Weed out the clan. Uh, delay Canadian intervention. We gotta wait a little bit longer. Do both of these. That's fine. Oh, we can only get pushed against the national, so it hurt their defense a little bit more. That's fine. Um, okay, maybe just stop attacking. They, these guys are just kind of wasting lives and such. How many guns do we have? Actually, we're doing very well on artillery. Wow, that's, we actually have a slight bit of fuel. Look at that. Huh. 
Hmm. So this is a division I want to be using the entire time. If we did this, we wouldn't have enough artillery. We'd have way few little pieces of artillery. Revolutionary Continental Army, though. What if we did that first? And you have support artillery anyways. There you go. How many... How much, what's the manpower of our enemies? That's quite a bit. We're on extensive conscription too, right? Yep. Uh, these guys have quite a bit. These guys have almost none. These guys have some. And these guys should... Are almost gone. Good. They deserve to be gone. Every last stinking one of them. What do we get to attack here? Harrisburg? Yeah, no thanks. You're gonna die now, son. Get up there so we don't lose. I mean, if you want to keep attacking, keep trying it. You're not gonna win. Cool. All right. And we're gonna get that. That's gonna be very good. Uh, research speed. Yes, please. Radar would be very nice. Extraction would be pretty good as well. What resources are we missing? A lot of them. Okay. Huh. Anything here that would immediately give us a benefit. I like this stuff. We've got to have to wait, sort of. Um, not really too much. Air Doctrine? We'll probably go with Air Doctrine. Why not? If we lose this, well, we still defend against a river. We'll take this tile back. Harrisburg should become ours once again, because we want those factories. Anything else around here? Um, yeah, that's not good. You help them out. Push them back out. We took that tile. Good, good, good. Help them out. Get the heck out of here, stupid feds. Yeah, against the American Union State, we're doing pretty darn well. Support from Syndicalists. Nice. We have 102 political power, and we got 50 more. Not as much as I want, but that's okay. Um, anything else? Not really. We can. We need to save some PP to help uh, the like Canadian intervention. Nice. That's fine. My goal is just to kill off as many of these enemies as possible first. And I want to push them completely out of Ohio. They got to get out of here. Get out of here, Ohioans. Go get out of get out get out of Hawaii. Hawaii? Ohio. So this is not a bad template, because we're currently using number two, which is exactly the same, except this one has a little bit more artillery on them, which gives us a little bit more attack, and so it has a little bit more guns. A few more guns. Actually, can I convert you guys to this one? We will gain a slightly more manpower. Helps us with guns, but Red Flood, if you like to about that, please go right ahead. Not bad. Actually, convert all you guys to that, maybe. Obviously, we don't have enough guns, but it will save a little bit more manpower and actually give us some guns back in exchange. Not that much, but hopefully it'll, it'll be enough to help just destroy a lot of the Canadians. Good, good, good. And do they have a bonus? Does anyone have a bonus against us? It doesn't seem like it. Oh, the Constitutionalists do until September, so that's not good. And you guys don't either. Okay, whatever. All right, what else is next? Land Doctrine's coming along. Air Doctrine's coming along. Naval Doctrine, probably not going to worry about that too much. It would be very beneficial, but let's go ahead and grab... Is this a bonus? Oh, I'll get some more output. Why not? That's uh, a little bit ahead of time, but whatever. I mean, they can attack if they like. But that isn't even going to take more of Indiana, then. We got Ohio. We got Ohio in its entirety. Very nice. we got to help out these guys here, too. Um, anywhere else, really? Oh, strike. Yeah, we'll see that one, too. That's good. Delay Canadian intervention as much as long as possible. Good. We got back Harrisburg. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. We need more planes, of course, but get more of this, too. Uh, we're building up some roads. Uh, military factories. Are, I kind of prefer military factories right now. So that'd be really good to push them out here. That'd be such a good defensive position. Uh, these guys, I know, are going to get attacked quite a bit. I'm going to convert you guys to this one as well. Just because you're going to get attacked a lot. You guys are going to get attacked a lot as well. Give me the militias. Um, I just give me at least one. Save a little bit on arty. Save a little bit on guns. So, not too bad, not too bad. Losses? Quite a few. We've killed off more than a million enemies, though, so not too bad. Cool, thank you guys, thank you very much. Professional Red Army. The Red Army's become a well-oiled machine. Our explosive firepower alone gives us an edge over our rivals, and our army's now considered a professional fighting force. The only disadvantage to this may be a loss of some flexibility, but we are confident that it won't matter. We have the shells and bolts, we need to win any war. Nice, more artillery attack and defense. Way less planning speed. Wow, minus 40%, but more max planning. Very cool. Much more. Oh, they're actually losing to the car. I like that. Get rid of the feds. They're almost out of manpower, too, which is very, very nice. But I don't want to lose our own manpower and strength, because we need more guns, period, so. There you go. 
Help them out a little bit more. Does anyone else have upgrades yet? Because we're not going to attack anywhere else. I don't want to push against the longest spot. Ooh, improvisation expert. Why not? What happened here? Bulgaria joined the Eurasian bloc. Hello, Bulgaria. Any reds? Well, we are reds. But any red over here? Any red over there? No, 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 no. You are solely mistaken. You are not staying, Indiana. Getting down to Kentucky would be really good. Joseph, anything for us? No, okay, then we'll, you know, do the best you can. Oh, cool. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Go to wherever you need. Slowly we'll push you down through the car and have it... Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, my. Wow. Man, Long just hates our guts so badly. I understand why, but my goodness. Fighting for America, Black Legion resistance, organized clan resistance. They got a lot of manpower and they got a lot more fuel than us. These guys are slowly getting hit by them. The Republicans win Greek referendum. Very cool. Uh, don't need a delay. I don't want to spend our PP yet. I just want to defend. That's my main goal is to, just to defend for now. I want more divisions here though, but actually you are looking not too bad. You might actually be able to hold on to, uh, you know, the New England area or the border with New England. So, you know what? You guys train. Half you guys are going to train. Delay Canadian intervention. It's fine. I'm not sure what else to do with my PP, so. Alright, where are we at? Alright, so light tanks are not too bad. We need to make a thing of light tanks too. Because I said I did want to use them. Revolutionary armor. Nice, that's actually pretty good. Keep you high on the list. High, high, high on the list. There goes our fuel. Um, are we losing anywhere? Oh, we're losing right there. That's not good. Hit him hard then. Nice, keep him busy. We want to get that to that river. Integrated support's good. Let's grab some regiment regimental combat team marinos. Hit him harder so we can get over to that river. What river is that? It's not a Kentucky river. Look at that, we're getting some fuel. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'd love to help you out, guys, but that just... That's not very smart to do. So you're not too bad. Actually, I'm going to throw you guys right there. No. You. Because six divisions is not enough here. Gun-wise, I mean, we're doing really good. Motorized, we're looking very good as well. So we actually do have some motorized currently. They're not great, but let's do this. Give them some motorized artillery and some motorized infantry. Good. Engineers are nice. Uh, support artillery, as well as some motorized stuff. Because you can throw the light tanks on, or, or light armored recon companies, and they hurt you, though. As well as cavalry. Uh, how many light tanks do we have? We don't have enough. I think we're just going to use, use motor, normal motorized. Not bad. It helps make our motorized even stronger. They use more fuel, but whatever. Help them out here. They're going to need a little bit of help. Push him out of Indiana completely. Oh, we can do a lot of stuff here. Uh, you guys are looking pretty bad. We don't really have a lot of divisions to spare. Uh, Smedley Butler, you got anything for us? No, not too much, but keep it up, Smedley. You're doing a good job. Support from Syndicalists? Well, we only got 50 more political power. That's alright. Uh, no, we might be actually be able to push. Oh, if we really, really wanted to. Into Kentucky? Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. You might just be able to do that. But we're learning a lot here, and that's the most important thing to learn. It's always good to learn. Oh, well, I guess we can't do any more Canadian intervention, so that kind of sucks. Oh, well. That's about to get a little bit more difficult. Go figure. Gun-wise, how are we doing? We're doing so good on guns. Holy crap. As long as you can hold, I mean, this is not bad, but of course we're not fighting Canada yet. So we can do the Air Force, we can do the Navy, I think that's it. I think I want to do the Air Force first. Sub cost goes down by 25%, nice. Ooh, daily political power goes down though, but let's go with Red Air Force. The Red Air Force is comprised of large of amateurs and enthusiasts. Now we must bring a proper system of ranks and training to an independent branch of the Armed Forces. Nice. Oh, baby boy, what's going on here, son? I just want to get him out of Indiana. Alright, so they're definitely going to attack soon. Oh, we got more stuff here. I think we're good on guns. Let's get more tanks. All, it takes, all they take are steel, which is great. Great, great. Hey, we broke, broke down into Frankfurt. Very, very good. Um, still quite a few divisions here. You might be able to break over there. Maybe. Maybe. That's a big old maybe. Oh, the Polish Social Republic turned through international? Nice. Yeah, let me keep one of you guys here. 
permission flying. Keep doing air doctrine because we got so much air XP. You might as well use it while we got it. Um, cancel on these. Oh boy. Oh, that's not boy, no. Gun wise, look at that. We are so good on guns right now. Holy smoky daddies. Oh, 150 political power. Well, we best be ready for a war against the Canadians. Um, what do we have here? Industrial concerns. Yeah, we want to keep building ourselves up quite a bit. But actually, Chief of Maneuver, da, 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 Trenchment, Organization is so good to get. More attack and defense for that stuff. I want more artillery for now. Yeah. Yeah, just even more attack and defense. Uh, we're not going to win here. That's fine. Just hang out. I only attacked because I wanted to win there. All right, John is exploding, which is nice. Very good, very good. Oh, uh, you guys can help out, maybe? No, no, you can't. That sucks. All right, not bad. Uh, so with that being the gun situation, I mean, honestly, 18 combat width is not good enough. I'm going to upgrade you guys to 20 combat, which which is going to make, give us a severe depletion, severe, severe depletion of guns. But not that bad, actually. And how much artillery do we have? 262, that's not bad. If I did that, that'd be pretty bad, but not terrible. That would save us a little bit on guns, too. So, after that, get some more construction speed. It's only 109 days. Not bad. Oh, we are done building factories. That is fast. Arenos. Uh, radar, perhaps? It doesn't want to help us that much. Actually, don't build it there. Build it up here in Michigan. You never know. Actually, can the Canadians get it over here? Oh, they might be able to. I don't like that. I'm going to deploy you guys right there, and then do that. I don't trust them, so... Or I don't trust that these guys... Can you guys actually get over there? Just gonna hang out, then. Just gonna hang out. If they can't move into here, that's good. If they can, whatever. It is what it is. Are you guys done training yet? No, you're not. Okay, stop training. You guys are regulars anyways. That's fine. Maintain flexibility. Fighter command. Strategic bombers. Um, Rebel girl. I like that. A second draft of Air Force traditionalism. Ah, we gotta go to the second draft. Apparently... Uh, maintain flexibility, I think, is best. But fighter command. The APA has a second plan comp competing for funding, which would be a form of vast fighter command, allowing us to have one central authority co coordinating our dominion of the skies. Or domination of the skies. Hey, good job. We got a little more a part of Illinois. They didn't like that. Uh oh. Follow the Rashidi Emirate. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see what we can do about those guys. The longest have kind of stopped attacking for now, which is okay with us, you know. You guys need to come over here? That's fine. Joseph, you got anything for us? Eventually, we're going to convert all these divisions over anyways. But we got to be... Oh, we got the clan? Yes. Up them both out. Take them out. Oh, they beat us back. Nope. Oh, they're trying to beat us back here too? Nope. Get back into Kentucky. Or Tennessee, or wherever that is. Or Missouri, whatever it is. Or Illinois, I don't know. Ottomans are going to kaboom. War in the desert. All right, sounds fun. Not really, but okay. God, they just keep attacking and attacking and attacking. Anything else? Level six, not bad. The AI loves attacking, 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 attacking. They start attacking us again. You should be able to win here. Come on, let's go, go, go. Show take some more stuff. Oh, right, guns again. Oh, motorized support. Support weapons looking very good. Uh, got it on Army 2. If we did this, we actually would have enough. That's actually really good. Oh, and Trenchman's going to be so nice now. Yemen, all these guys, not bad. Uh, as much as I want to help out there, we should be able to do okay. Maybe. Let's see. Great Syrian Revolt's very nice. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for any day now. They're going to attack us any day now. Second Arab Revolt. Second Cypher Revolt. Uh, does anyone have anything against us? No, you guys don't. Look at that. McNamee plan? Not bad. You guys have a push against the car, which is nice. Regimental combat teams. Followed up with. Mechanized offensives. Very nice. Can you guys please stop trying to kill us off? Hit the Federalist Militias. Very good. And Fighter Command. The second draft, because we traditionalism is nice and all about the second draft. More manpower, why not? We need more pilots for our air missions. Some have suggested the possibility of drafting women to our military as well. This would boost our numbers and ensure our commitment to gender equality. Women, aces, will be just as effective as their male counterparts. And who are we to turn away true talent?
All right, everyone. So I've played it a little bit more off screen. Um, I did unleash the Hellcap. One of the most innovative things the Air Force has done is present a design for a carrier based aircraft known as the Bethpage F 6 Hellcap, courtesy of the Bethpage Aviation Union and Design Bureau. The Hellcap will be our most agile carrier fighter to date, which we've got Carrier Fighter 2, and from the sky. Our greatest chance of projecting influence or power across the oceans is through the use of, well, air power. We can aid our allies best by helping them achieve air superiority and through that control superiority over the battlefield and controlling the air. We can rain down fire and fortify positions in cities like and the Second Continental Navy. Created at the start of the Second American Revolution, our Navy is mostly comprised of sea ships, led by ideological comrades as admirals. While our fleet can't meet the Federal Navy and survive in battle once again, one against one against one, yeah, we need to prepare our fleet and start organizing a command line. And other than that, there's not too many more focuses we can do right now because the war is still raging on quite harshly. But we can get a division or Northern Arkansas because I guess we got Jonesboro. Cool, because I wanted to make an encirclement here, but we also have St. Louis too now, so this is pretty nice. Um, we can push on the Federal front. I, uh, working conditions, why not? And the Canadians still haven't declared war, which I'm a little surprised, to be honest. A little surprised that they've not done anything against us yet, so. Uh, were you guys moving in or something? Because I want to defeat the car first, maybe. Ooh, maybe hold on first, hold on first, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just because if we can split them down, then we can have focus on the feds, or just hold against the feds, because they're still attacking us, as you can see here. But I've been just upgrading our army more and more and more and more. More infantry, more guns, more good stuff like that. Uh, as you can see, our guns are looking very good. Artillery isn't too bad either, so. Also... As a spy, we've got Lucio Ball. Very cool. I didn't know she was part of the game, but cool. That's actually really cool. Uh, actually, at this point, um, I'm going to have to have you guys come back over here, actually. Hold for you guys. I don't want to lose Pittsburgh, so. Um, actually, how much manpower does the fed, do the feds have? Uh, they went to service by requirement. Okay, makes sense. We have no fuel, of course, but, you know, whatever. And as you can see, we have, I've... Greatly expanded the two depths of divisions that we do have. Guys, don't go that way, please. Guys, what the heck? You big dum-dums, eh? You big dum-dums. There you go. Cool. And keep doing air superiority because we, well, basically we can. Uh, you guys still might actually be able to win here. Just don't lose here, guys. That's the most important thing. Uh, the feds are still struggling. So it's basically just one big old struggle buggle. Struggle buggle? Struggling thing. I'm going to convert you guys immediately to this, because we have enough equipment for it. I mean, this is... Not bad. I mean, this is ridiculously not bad. Like... Oh, we can weed out the clan. That's probably good, but yeah, I mean... We have enough industry. We've got enough... Obviously, not enough fuel, but still, like... This isn't bad. At all. Uh, since you guys actually do win there. Resource-wise, I mean, we need fuel. We definitely need fuel. We might try to get down to Kentucky for real, Zizel. Kentucky would probably be pretty nice to get down. They're looking... Oh! Hey, they went with the Triple Ks. Yep, they changed your flag. Well, hope everyone likes the Triple K, because, well, they're here. Um, I played as them before. It's kind of fun. Very cool. We might want to check Louisville, too, though. Oh, uh, the Prince of Federation. Yeah, I don't know when Canada's going to get involved. Are they even going to get involved? Because it's already May 1939. Are they going to go to war with us at the same time they're going to go to war with the Third, Interna Third International? And, um, yeah, like, it doesn't make any sense. Um, casualty-wise, we've lost half a million versus over two and a half million enemies, so... Long has severely exhausted himself, so yeah. And as well as a car, as well as the federal government to a degree, but, you know. I guess time to go down to, uh, Louisville. I've been down there once, I think. It's definitely warm. Sometimes. Sometimes warm. There you go. Machine assisted decryption, not bad. Smelly bullet have got another upgrade for us. Uh, anything else here? Oh, we could push against him. We're doing pretty okay. I guess since we're going to do it anyways, he might as well. Smanley Butler, do you got anything for us? Anything interesting? Organization? No? Okay. Ah, the Germans have arrived to help him out. And we do make a tank division too, even though we're out of fuel, which is very not good. Can I get any more fuel? Second Melbourne Uprising, very nice. Canada's not bad. Oh, second Continental Navy. We could import more fuel. I mean, at this point, I've started trying to import a little bit of fuel, maybe. Because we could really use it and just start just whamming our enemies. Let's grab some more extraction, because that'll help us with our fuel a little bit. And, revolutionary naval industry. The superiority of the old U.S. fleet was not only in our commanders, but also in fleet size. Although we still do not have as many shipyards and factories as the U.S. had before the war, we can focus on specific ships and simplify production. Very good. Are we getting... Oh, long is... Longing for victory. We've cut them down by quite a bit. Oh, what are you guys doing over here, huh? I don't know where you guys took that spot. Nice, we got Louisville. Yeah, we're more Kentucky. More Kentucky. We want some of that fried chicken. 
Three more militia divisions. Hit the Federalist militias. Actually, where are we on this stuff? The Rebel Girl. We're even mobile even more. My goodness. Just organize. American operative capture. Okay. Follow Shenyang. Bad resistance is still pretty high, though. Kind of weird, but okay. Send one of you guys down here, too. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Yeah, these guys are just... Hmm. Help them out. It's only one division that's severely weakened, but whatever. It doesn't matter. One less enemy division is a good, dead enemy division. Oh. Very good. Goodbye. Anywhere else we gotta really consider ourselves well? Uh, here's not very good. If you need to leave Jones, bro, we already got the militia divisions out of there, so. I wonder if we get those extra militia divisions. Hmm. Getting down to. Ooh, let's take out more Kentucky first. I think that'd be really good. You guys just go ahead and take Frankfurt. That'd be quite nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we got him. We got Kentucky divisions. Yeah, I'm very surprised, actually, that no one has done anything else. We get some more manpower by doing that. Nice. Uh, go up there, I guess, and we'll help out the rest of the line here, but, like, this is not bad. But, yeah, like, honestly, even Canada is scared of us or something. Like, they must know that we are doing pretty well. But I do want to ask you guys, like, oh, maybe not ask you guys, but just, like, get you guys' opinions. Like, for other routes, for the CSA, New England, federal government, you know, all these different nations... Or American factions, I should really say. Um, like, eventually, I think I might just, like, do the Civil War off-screen. Or maybe I'll live-stream it. Maybe I should live-stream the Civil War sometime. And, uh, basically then go from there and then do, you know, a different route sometime. So, maybe. We'll see. The IWWUMW. University of Madison, of Madison in Wisconsin? Hmm. It's kind of cool. Oh, Smelly Butler. Any more upgrades? No, you're still level 6, which is awesome. Oh, uh, I never use that. Why not? We'll use that one. Because we can. We ha do have a little bit of fuel. Look at all that. I mean, our divisions are just so strong. That's ridiculous. We have 12,000 guns in reserve. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. We can convert all you... I've already converted all these guys over. You guys all become this group. We don't have enough support equipment, actually, but that's okay. Look at all that artillery. You guys are already converted. You guys are converted. You guys are good to go. Um, I, I, I just don't know. You guys can convert yourselves, I guess. Train, I guess. For now, that's fine with me, but still. We've made an encircle. This is too easy. Especially without Canada attacking us. Seriously, like, what the heck? Support from Syndicalists. It's great. All right, and new American dockyards. We lose political power, revolutionary maritime naval industry with American maritime industry. Not bad. Why not? Most shipyards were damaged or lost during their workers during the Second Revolution. The restoration of the old and the reform of the present naval facilities will be the second step towards the restoration of the American Navy. Competitions of new ships have already begun and will help us not only recreate the American Navy, but also get rid of old designs that proved to be ineffective. Great. Because we're running out of things to focus on. So maybe that'll be a thing. Like, they're... You know, because of the focus is here, I'm thinking that this this stuff might shred it down a little bit more, maybe? I don't know. Just because the CSA, if the, the war lasts too long, there, there's nothing for them to do too much, really. Or research too much. Um, just, I don't know. Just It seems weird. It seems like this is a bit too easy. So many resources. So much importing. So many stuff. So much stuff. Which, don't get me wrong, for this campaign, is great. When you're fighting against the CSA, it's god-awful. I hate it so much, but... Uh, oh, can be got awful. What? Another operative? Mildred Gillers? Rosenberg? Chester? Um, oh, nice. Let's go with Lauren, because she can, she smooches, and she's tough. She's a tough smoocher. And I went with Mountaineers, because I want to create Mountaineer Divisions. Which I normally don't do. Where is it? Oh, there it is. And there, I'm going to make these guys 40 combo with already. Make it look really nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And engineers. Screw it. Get some light tanks. And get some artillery. And do we actually have some anti-air? We do. 
I could convert divisions, or I, actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to con convert divisions. You guys, you're going to become really thick. I say CSA resistance, but they're going to be leaders. So these guys will push very hard. Just going to convert it. Who cares? We'll get some more manpower back. High yield has capitulated. Nice. They're definitely attacking us. We might actually, oh, be able to break the car at this point. Not sure. Why not, guys? Why not? Okay, we deployed some more soldiers here. Give me three divisions, because we can throw them on the line again. Great, so you guys are done. I'm really just stockpiling just divisions here. Alright, where are you guys at? Um, go on in here. That's fine. Help them out. Take them out. Go down two. Nice. I mean, we'll have to deal with the feds ourselves, I guess, but, you know, that's kind of okay. Especially if we kill off the car. And if we do go down here fast enough, we get a lot more steel and a little bit more oil. We get Florida, even though, oh, we'll get navally invaded, though. Oh, that's not good. Well, it's going to have to happen anyways, because of our position. It's all right. I'll take Nashville. So by then, it's up to it. Hopefully, the car will be get, dead, and we'll have a good time. Actually, how much motorized do we have? 1,800. we got enough artillery. We're making them 40 combo wits then. All right. Loads of motorized. Got to make it look somewhat nice. Not that nice, but somewhat nice. Actually, screw it. We have so much army XP. We got some anti-air too. Nice. Of course, look at our fuel. That's looking a little better too. I mean, I could do that. That would give us slightly more fuel as well, but still. Sure, we'll take more stuff until we don't have it. Cool. All of Illinois is under us, which is awesome, awesome. We also cored um, Southern Indiana off screen as well earlier, That's, which is fine. Oh, wait. I did that. There you go. Just, you know what? Let them attack us. Like, well, they're not attacking us too much, actually. Go, go in here. There you go. Hurts our fuel a little bit, but that's all right. Hit them right back. Take Tennessee. Or at least Nashville. Nashville's. Actually, pretty close to, what was it, Alabama and, yeah, Memphis is Alabama. Oh, no, that's Mississippi. I always get Alabama and Mississippi confused. American People's Navy. Navy fuel consumption goes down. Navy and Naval plan. Um, let's do revolution on the high seas. The old federal fleet was limited to naval traditions that did not allow them to see the air aircraft carriers would rule the oceans in the future. Although our oldest admirals are still inclined to the idea of big guns and armor, they agreed that the aircraft was very effective against enemy ships. We need to ensure that the new American Navy receives air support when it's needed in any part of the world. Take Nashville. Good, good, good. I would love to be able to cut him off here. Oh, we had a bonus. I forgot about that. It's fine, whatever. It's alright, we should still do relatively okay. And you're still training. They're not even coming in at us. That's so nice. Cancel Lend Lease, alright. Anything else around here? It's fine, it's fine. We should be able to push in actually and just go over. You hold for now, it's fine. That's gonna take some time to get over the river. And we will have them soon. Actually, if anything, you should really attack here instead. There you go, that's that's actually very nice. The car is probably gonna die with the deal with the fed herself feds ourselves, which is fine. Um, go in there immediately. This is seriously too easy. You just gotta hold off. That's all you have to do. Just hold off. Just hold off for a while. That's all you gotta do. There you go. Yeah, divisions. Nice. Convert them immediately. Like, holy crap, this is too too nice. Too nice for us. Beautiful. Here, help them out. Even the German divisions are gonna die here. Great. All right, well, those four divisions are going to die. Goodbye. Not bad. I really don't want to race towards the sea, because I do not want naval invasions against us. Oh, they're starting something else up here against us, huh? How much more strength do the feds have now? None! They don't scrape in the barrel. Holy crap. God, I want to get rid of the feds so badly right now. 
Oh, I could risk it and try to get up here quickly and go race down towards Washington because they're not looking strong. They're just not. Let everyone else deal with the car for now. They can suffer casualties and losses. We'll push on the, this front anyways. This is not bad. This is really not bad. 1,800 guns in reserve still. Pharaohs retreat. Pharaohs seem they can no longer do major damage. They've been increasingly caught attempting to flee our nation for friendlier factions, and the propaganda attempts have pe petered out. Well, the last vital cells having collapsed, they are gaining virtually no new recruits, and the counter operations are at long last over. Good, good, good. They took back. No. No, 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 no. A thousand times no, you treacherous little snakes. Good. Keep them, keep them, keep them. Also, it's ultimatum. Oh, we're going to lose a lot of support now just because uh, World War Three, or 2. No, we haven't had World War Two yet. Now it's a World War Two. Second Valkyrie. Cool. That's nice. We don't really care about that right now. Help him out if you can. Smelly Bowler says he can do pretty darn well. Take more Tennessee, though. And circle another car division. How strong is uh, Long doing right now? How, how, is, how is he? No manpower. Good. The car has no manpower. All these divisions or enemies have decided to kill their own cells off. All we have to do is just sit here. That's great. Go in. Send the push a little bit. Push back the feds. On the federal front. Nice. That should give us some superiority. Oh, the, okay. The cannon's not going to come as war, are they? I guess technically they still could, maybe, but... He says he could win. I don't know if I can really trust him on that, but we're winning right here. Oh, man, my head just went crazy over there. Oh, my goodness. Very nice. Go back, go back. Go in, go in. We're doing a good job, guys. Actually, we'll take... Uh, I don't want to lose... I don't want to lose Lucille Ball. Like, that's... That's a gem. But help put her there in DC. Put him down a little bit. There you go. We're looking good. We're looking good. I want to try general attack, sort of, but... With them having no manpower, this is just optimal time to attack. Especially when we have all this extra push. Oh, Alaska. Ah! We'll go with seven, that's fine. Just because we're not getting everything from Venezuela either, so. Go down if you can. Go down, 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 down. Baltimore. We gotta get Baltimore next. Soon, 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 soon. Uh, oh, look at this. Recreate the Continental Marines. In the past, the Continental Marine Corps proudly fought against the British oppressors, many of the soldiers of its success of the U.S. Marine Corps. Under the command of Smedley Butler, joined us when we met with the capitalists in the Second Revolutionary War. With the recreation of the Navy, we need to be sure that we organize and train forces that can meet the other enemies of the revolution abroad. Oh, the feds. Oh, man, we might be able to collapse them right now. We might just be able to. Please, 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 please. Actually, we might want to make some Marines, too. Uh, you guys, take one division. This is not linked up at all, so just come down here. Thank you. And take the Mava. Baltimore, you're going to become very red. Very red, very soon. Yeah, seriously, if the Canada doesn't intervene, this is too easy. This is literally too easy. All you got to do is make sure that your divisions are okay, and then just like, okay, we'll go. It's too easy. I'm not saying it's overpowered. It's just, it's just too easy. Take Baltimore. Oh, and then we'll go to DC. Look how weak their divisions are. You guys, once these guys are all done training, we'll train up um, Georgia's camp. We're not even using our full army here. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> We're not even using our full army. It's nuts. Nuts. Just absolutely nuts. Take DC. They'll be done, hopefully. We're, oh, they have Richmond, too. What are you guys doing over here? Um, guys, don't worry about it. We're focused on the federal government. Once the feds collapse, we'll focus on the car. Smash them to bits. We actually saw some people. We'll focus on the Amer American Union state. Liberia. What are you doing here? Liberia. Weed out the clan. No clan here. No siree. We don't believe in clan operations. Take out DC, that swamp hole. Are they? Jesus Christ, they're looking so bad. Um, drop them, drop them, drop them. Drop them on their heads like like when their mother was raising them. Go in, go in. Centralized fire control. Grab some forward observers, more recon, reinforce rate. Oh, baby boy. Oh, is that Haiti? No, that's you. Oh, hey, DC. That was... I don't want to fight the, the CSA ever again. <laughs> um, technically, we don't deserve that, so let's do this one first. We'll take all this, these guys' stuff. That's good. We deserve it. They don't. Um, I'll give to the... You know what? I'll be nice to these guys. You can have Arizona and Nevada. You know, they can have all of it. Screw it. We don't even have access to them, so... 
or to restore Western Wisconsin. Over the past weeks, syndicate government forces have been busy in Western Wisconsin, arresting those we would feel prove a hindrance to our control and helping our local supporters spread the good word amongst the people. We want to assure them that as American citizens, they have no reason to fear our presence. Our efforts have been slowly begun to bear fruit, even in the midst of all this chaos. Excellent, excellent news. And, okay, we're basically won the war here, then. That's in my opinion, we have just basically won the war. Second American Republic is going to die. Send all our mountaineers in 40 combat with motorized and get ready to go. The DC is ours. What's not to love? Thank you. Yeah, hey, just in time for that to finish off. Nice, nice, nice. At this point, you guys, we have so many destroyers. Are we making anything but destroyers? Well, we're trying to, but we need some chromium. Well, that's alright. Get some rubber, maybe. Deutsch Asian Insulated uh, Liberia, maybe? Maybe that might work. Maybe. What are we building up here? Oh, nothing. Well, that sucks. Get some roads. At the very end of the day, we should be at least be making some sort of roads. Well, New York City is really good for roads. Uh, get some cities, too. There you go. Remember military factories? Another tank division? Jesus Christ, that's so good. Um, my tanks? Sure, why not? Support equipment? Sure, why not? We'll go up to eight. That sounds actually a little bit more balanced. All right, guys, you guys good? Hmm. Excavation is nice. Let's grab some of this fuel storage. It is 39. Happy. Hope you guys are doing okay. Because at this point, I'm going to go right on in. How strong is the? Oh, the longest. Oh, I want to go right on in, but we might have to wait just a little bit longer. The car's got to die. Can you guys actually push like and do really well? You might actually be able to. You know what? If we give them a little bit extra attack on there, that's good. Can we try this? Oh, good God, it's green. Hopefully it stays green, because that just turned red. You guys literally had enough time to train all these guys. Alright, your turn. I mean, they can still technically go to war with us, but, like, bro. Nice, we got some more naval XP. Naval, naval XP, air XP. Um, if these guys are really out of manpower, are they really out of manpower? Yeah, they are. They're on scraping the barrel. These guys are on service by requirement, and these guys are not doing anything, which is stupid. Uh, convert you guys. Okay, we'll get some more of this too. Why not? More light tanks. Even though I should be researching some medium tanks too, but whatever. Uh, what can we not get? We got enough stuff from these guys. Fuel, maybe? Yeah. Alaska. We'll take that though. We'll take that for now. Alright, so it's definitely a mixed bag against long. We've lost what? Oh, I should have looked at cow sheep for too long. That's alright though. I don't know how long it how long, long will be able to keep this up. Let's get some stuff down here and get you going up through here, maybe? No. Atlanta. Yeah, if we keep attacking, the car's gonna die. There's literally nothing they can do about it. They should be completely out of equipment and mostly out of manpower too. Yep, out of manpower. Seventy five divisions left. They have a little bit of artillery. Russian boots march west of Germany. Oh boy. They're out of guns, so keep doing what we're doing. It's going to be very costly for a while, but that's okay. That's okay. Even against the long, we're pushing in just a little bit here. Oh, we don't have anything here. Oh, American Union State. Canada, definitely. Nice. Uh, Liberty ships. Our dockyards have at last switched to a new model of production. We can easily produce a massive number of convoys to supply our allies around the world. Nice. Oh, uh, you might want to help him out here. Yeah, I might want to help him out here, too. Yeah, I might want to come down here, too. The car should die, especially as we're sailing through North Carolina here. We killed 1.7 million of them. My goodness. Can we actually win here? That's my biggest question. Can we actually win? We've taken half a million casualties just from these guys alone. Uh, oh, wow. They are just... They are really just fighting until they die. Uh, go there, then. It's fine. Raleigh. Please take Raleigh. I've been to Raleigh several times. This is a nice place. At least the last time I went. So, it might not be very nice anymore. It's been quite a few years. There you go. West Virginia. We're pushing down into Mississippi, Alabama. Very, very good. Take the resources. Chongqing federal government proclaimed. Very cool. Yeah, Carolinas are almost done. 
Pushing into the north here is very good as well. Up here, I'm just a little bit more worried. We're probably out of guns, aren't we? No, we got 30,000 guns! Jesus Christ! Oh my, holy, 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 holy. Oh, baby boy, this is too easy. Look at that. Oh, are they? They're not doing last stand. They're probably not doing last stand, right? They are not doing last stand, right? Yeah, they're not. Okay. I couldn't tell there. It is almost 39. You know what? We got it. You keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Strike the Black Legion cells. Very good. Oopsie. Oh, uh, we need way more support equipment then. Holy smoky daddies. I like saying smoky daddies a whole lot. Follow Volana. And once we're done here, we can just turn our attention to the American Union State and the PSA and then have a good time. Honduras, how many have we killed? Two million yet? Not quite. We've reached just a little over half a million. Orden de Marva, if you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Beautiful. Milton Wolf, you got anything for us? Improvisation expert? Why not? American Union State? You're, or American Union State. British Union. Union of Britain. I can't even remember it. I can't words remember it anymore. Hello! <laughs> okay, then. We just beat them up. All right, then. We're not going to give them anything. All right, boys, let's get ready and actually do a nice... Oh, they're attacking us. Look at that. Nice little line here. Oh, they're actually fighting each other, too. That's actually pretty good, too. Um, at this point, I mean... I don't think they're going to attack, so maybe we wouldn't risk that, maybe? You guys are doing well. You guys are doing well. Cool. Um, I'm just going to keep you guys maybe around here. Little Rock. You know, screw it. Get another general going. Oliver Law, hello, hello, hello. Any upgrades? Milton Wolf, very good leader right now. And just in case. We've barely taken a scratch. I and mean, look at our manpower. Even after like getting the actual population from the Rebel Girl, it's really nice. Oh, good. Look at that fuel. It's going up, actually. We've got all these resources to deal with. Oh, my goodness. Western Panhandle. Let's go ahead and do Georgia. Sweet, sweet, peachy Georgia. Hang out for now, guys. I mean, if you really want to attack, you guys can probably just smash them to bits. So, get everyone on the line, and then we're going to go have a good old time. And they'll go for Canada probably in the next episode, too. Do you actually have any extra planes, maybe? Cass, maybe? There you go. Alright, uh, well, it doesn't look like we have any more, which kind of sucks, but that's alright. Um, do we have any normal planes, maybe? Give our guys enough time for max planning. Strategic bombers, bombers, naval bombers, no fighters. We need more fighters, right? Yes, we do. Alright, I guess. It's been fun, American Union State, but, uh, you've had it too good for too long. I was going to get Bethlehem Steel just for more factories for now, because we need more factories. Just, I don't know, convert these guys to this. It's fine. Uh, there you go. Three, two, just go. Win the war, guys. Win the war. We got Keener New England done, which is nice. Liberty ships. And new naval plan. I don't want to get hurt. I love the Navy fuel consumption, but we're American. We're about to have Texas. New naval plan. With the victory in the Civil War, the American fleet was hardly damaged, and many officers and sailors joined the reactionary forces and fought against the will of the people. In the end, when they were defeated, the damaged and destroyed their ships. Our oldest naval vessel, com Commanders, proposed starting the restoration of the American fleet to its former status. Great. Awesome. Let her rip. All right, so 200,000 versus both of these really just against American Union State. We've killed almost 1.4 million of them. How much manpower do they have? 91 divisions. Divisions. They must be still mobilizing, probably. Uh, let's make sure we're actually doing some of this, too. Texas is nice. Is there another command center around here at all? Not really, no. We can do this area, I guess, too. Nolens is going to fall. We're not even... I'm not even manually controlling this. Fall of Nolens. Jeez Louise, man. This is... Man. I don't know. I've already said it's too easy several times this episode, but still, whatever. Uh, research speed. And maybe new ships, new planes, stuff like that. Wow. Casualties, 1.44 million, 200,000 from us. We can get some subbies. 
I think it's sub threes. Uh, now at this point, I don't mind cutting you guys in half then. That's a little better. More militia? There you go. Become 40 combo width, even though you're nowhere near that amount. And Arkansas, sentencing the pre-war capitalist politicians of the revolution near success. The people demand that we deal with the corrupt capitalist politicians in office before the revolution who now rot in our cells. Some believe that by having these politicians work hard labor for a few years, they'll emphasize with the worker and be converted to our cause. Others believe that no amount of education can reform them, and they must remain behind bars for the rest of their lives. A small but vocal minority insists that they must be executed for the crimes like the Romanovs or Bourbon dynasties of old. Redeemed? Uh, watch as the world leaves them behind and make them irrelevant. It's our turn now. We shall not make excuses for the terror. Yep. Very cool. Any other upgrades? No? Okay. Um, you guys are almost done. At least halfway there. Yeah, this is nutty. So many guns, so much artillery. We, of all things, we need more support equipment. I don't really care for strategic bombers. If we want to make any, we'll make some uh, anti tank. We're not going to use any probably for this campaign. Um, you guys, if you'd like some anti air, go right ahead. I think we got enough to share. Can we do that? Do we have enough? No, we don't. That's okay. Doesn't really matter. We're going to slow down our production of that stuff for now. You can go to five. That's fine. Just rolling on in. That's all we're doing. More militia? There you go. There you go. Yeah, Florida Panhandle, why not? Push against Longus is done. Oh, we were doing pretty well because of that, but that's alright. At this point, I just don't think they can do very much against us. Rally public support? Nah, we're kind of good for now. Uh, cut you guys down a little bit. Because we're going to make 40 combo with divisions here very soon once the war is over. Looks almost like an encirclement here. Alright, 215,000 versus 1.75 million. Not bad, not bad. We might literally just be able to end this American Civil War in the second episode. That never happens. More civvies, because we only need so many civvies where we're headed. Alright, alright. How many divisions do they have left? 61. And I'm still fighting the PSA, so... Yeah, this is a bit crazy. Netherlands join the Rax Pack Reno. Why not? Southwestern Ohio. Oh boy, these guys have been encircled. Goodbye. New naval plans. Northern Texas, thank you very much. And then, refit old ships. Our main fleet consists of old ships that date from the beginning of the 20th century or even the end of the 19th century. During the Civil War, captains and engineers already began installing custom modifications on ships. Some of them have developed plans and equipment to improve. Oh, my apologies. I should, should have paused the game there. That was ridiculously easy. Um, some of them develop plans and equipment to improve the conversion of the ships to modern standards. Now, these guys, I'm sure, have more than enough uh, manpower and stuff to actually be us here. Um, I might actually use you guys. I might actually use you guys, but eh, supplies are already not going to be very good over there, so it'll be all right. There you go. That should be enough. Now we need more artillery. All right. Oh, look at that. Nice. We got more than enough tungsten. Oh, uh, you guys. Peru, Bolivia. Nice. Wait, what the heck? No, I... Why did not go? Go. You guys, chromium. Where's Cuba? Thanks, Cuba. We appreciate it. It's gonna be a big old pain in the booty, but we're gonna get him anyways. It doesn't matter. How much manpower do they have? They have some Japanese divisions, some Brazilian divisions up and out. Oh, they got tons of manpower. This is going to be a pain in the butt. All right. Go right on in. We're going to win the Civil War by the end of this episode. Unless Canada intervenes, and that would be really bad. But you can't tell right now, but I'm not moving anything just because the game is lagging so incredibly hard right now. That Austria, inter the Austria intervened in the Second American Civil War. Or no, not, not in our war. Possible ceasefire. Um, no, we're not going to do that. 
Civil war has ravaged America, and there's a growing discussion within the government regarding approaching the PSA for a possible ceasefire. Whether the Pacific rebels would even consider such a thing is unknown, but what... But if it occurred, it would give us some time to consolidate our hold over the East and our more for our men to recover. Eventually, a reckoning would be necessary, of course. But if we don't attempt this now, the war may drag on even longer as a result. Nope. No against these reactionaries. No siree. Very, very, very good. Kingdom of Ukraine is gone. Goodbye. Uh, we're not going to stop. There's no stopping here. We can't afford to stop. Supplies are so bad here, though. Oh, my goodness. We've killed 6,000. Not bad so far. We're going to need some air superiority, too. So let's build some planes. Air bases, maybe. Uh, that might be a bit too much. One, two, three. There you go. Something like that. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Keep it up. We might want to get some logistic companies, too. So Strategic destruction. But it's all right. Let's finish off this stuff. Hey, Central America. Yes, please. After we fit our own ships... Navy of New Age. The Second Revolution almost destroyed the Navy, and none of us expected that we could recreate the old American fleet, but it was restored, perhaps not in the same quality and form, but now the ships have been replaced by new ones. Without the old bias, admirals, naval tactics have been modernized, and now the new American Navy is ready to defend freedom in America or around the world. Nice. Anything else here? Not really too much, no. Could get more divisions, but that's alright. Who can't give us the good stuff? Oh, uh, no. It's all pretty good, actually. Cavalry? Huh. There you go. Virginia? Sure, why not? Overwhelming superior firepower. Hopefully we don't have too many casualties, but they have up to 98 divisions, which isn't too bad. Just gonna flick more casualties. More, 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 more. Oh, look. John F. Isel. The Judge. Oh, that's kind of cool. Division Defense of Core Territory. So, plenty of fuel, plenty of manpower. Right, we'll see what about well, that, though. We'll definitely see about that. And war propaganda. No, nope, we don't really need war propaganda right now. Keep going. Don't let them up. Supplies are so bad, we cannot afford to stop. I wish Smelly Butler could become an organizer. He's slightly getting there, but not really. Arizona will be ours soon enough. And it looks like they're running out of equipment, too. Yeah, I think up next is logistic companies. Um, If you want to do this, that's fine with me. Continental Red Guard, that's fine. Go over there, too. We don't want to put too many more soldiers over there, over here, just because the supplies are already so bad, so. Um, there you go. Refit old ships. Oh, we can't do this one? We need at least 300 ships. Oh, well, we're done with the focus tree for now. Until we get more stuff done, which kind of sucks, but whatever. We're in New, Ve New Vegas, no. We're getting close to New Vegas. Or Las Vegas. One of those two. Uh, you guys doing okay. Keep up them out. Beat them up. 31,000 versus 54,000. Not great, but it is what it is. It has to be like this. I know we're hurting for organization, but force it. Force them to die. This is the only real way to can win across here, so. Oh, they're losing a lot of guys. That's nice. That is very nice. We got good as well. Good, good, good. We have got Las Vegas, my friends. We're almost in California. Almost, almost, almost there. Come on, just a wee bit more. Just a wee bit. Break him out into Idaho. Cool. Doesn't really matter to me. Alright. Black South Carolina. Psychological warfare is very nice. Anything else? No, just keep building, building, building. I know we've taken a lot of casualties. It's a ridiculous amount, but the PSA refused to learn, so. Air superiority, it's definitely mixed. They just can't keep this up, I bet. I mean, neither can we, really, but. Hey, Fort Observers is very nice. More recon, more reinforce rate. Get some more soft attack, maybe. You know, this is organization. I've lost a little bit more. Stockpile wise, the plans are not too bad. Infantry equipment is looking okay. Anything else here? No. All right. All right. We'll convert that. We'll deal with that next episode. Um, Oklahoma, not bad. Oh, come on, guys. This is so dumb. Just give up. You guys cannot, will not ever win against these guys. 
do that. Oh, I should come on back. Reorganize real quick. Logistics have to be next. Go to Spokane. Help him out. We need the supplies. And we're out of guns, probably. No, artillery. Just artillery. We have pretty good softball guns now, right now, too, so. Um, this part of Arizona sucks. It sucks so much. We can't, we, we literally just can't stay here. Come on. We gotta go in. We've gotta go in and kill them off. Supply suck. You can't stop. Oh, we pu pushed over, just go. We'll probably be able to break through here. So, get Seattle, get Olympia. And this sucks, this really sucks, but, you know. Oh well. Max entrenchment, minus 0.3. It's not great, but every little bit will help. Every single little bit. But you know what? I think I might just end the episode here, just so I can finish this off screen, and uh, we'll start fresh anew with the victory of the American Civil War in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we all finish the American Civil War, basically, and have a good time. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.